Join us here at Last Adam Tabernacle as we bring Christ to the nation. Glory be to God. Thank you, Sam. Thank you for all the testimonies. Uh, I misplaced the Bible I usually use. So that's why I don't have a... Yeah, glory be to God. Thank you all for coming. Uh, yes, hallelujah. Yes, Carol, good to see you. You ran away from nothing. Okay. <laughs> you ran away from Buganda for nothing. All right. Praise also ran away for nothing. <laughs> yeah, for nothing. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, we thank God that the country is peaceful. We pray that it shall remain that way for a long time. All right? Continue praying. Yes, that we remain as peaceful as we are now. Amen? Yes, worship team, thank you. Let's give the worship team a big hand clap. Yeah. The worship team tried Bambi. Amen? They tried, but I think it is Ronnie who messed them up. Okay, but you tried. Eh? You tried, you tried, you tried. I saw you trying. I encourage you to try. For those of you who are not here on Sunday and you read the word for the week, you must have been very disappointed today. Okay, today was the total opposite eh, of what was here last Sunday. It's the truth, eh? It's, it was bad. Eh? It sounded like some of these bad, stupid bands. Eh? You know, eh? Eh, it was horrible. Eh? Hallelujah. But God knows eh? we tried. Amen? God knows we did what? We tried. Say after me, God knows that we what? <laughs> we tried. Hallelujah. Catherine Coleman used to say that. Eh? She used to say that when she meets God, the first time she will meet the Lord, eh? Catherine Kuhlman had never met the Lord face to face. All right? Uh, yet she was one of the greatest women of God who ever lived. All right? But she had never, like, dreamed seeing Jesus. All of, you know, eh? never. Hallelujah. So, yeah, one of the things it teaches us is that uh, it, is not, uh, it is not necessarily true, eh? that the greatest men and women of God, the greatest servants of God, or the greatest Christians are those who have had encounters with the Lord. Do you understand? Eh? Okay, it is not, having visions and dreams doesn't necessarily mean that, uh, that, you are, that you're walking so close with God, eh? or that you're walking in his ways, or that you, you have arrived. Eh? It doesn't necessarily mean that. Hallelujah. Okay? Amen? Do you know that Muslims have dreams which come to pass? Do you remember, before you got saved, you used to dream, eh? at times, things which happened. You understand? So, having so many dreams doesn't necessarily mean eh, that what? That you are you are spiritual or that you are mature in the things of God, it doesn't necessarily mean that. Hallelujah. Amen? Yeah. Hopefully this will help you not to fall. You see, there are people who think that if someone dreams a lot, they prophesy accurate things, you know, it means that they are mature. Yeah, it doesn't. You know, these are gifts, by the way. They are what? Gifts which God gives uh, even to people who are not saved. Uh, gifts which God gives at times at the point you get born again. Okay? Gifts of the Spirit. Okay? So the Spirit comes with those gifts when you get saved and, you know, he, he comes inside you. Okay? So those things don't necessarily mean what? Any anyway, Catherine Kuhlman, all right, <laughs> Yes, she, nev she had never seen the Lord. Okay? And, and so she used to say that the first thing she would tell the Lord when she meets him, okay, 
the first time she will see him, you know, when she, you know, she lives there, she has died and goes to heaven, he, she will say that, Lord, we tried. Not we tried. She said, I think I tried. Yeah? Yeah, I tried. Okay? Hallelujah. So we also did what? <laughs> God knows we tried. And you can find that we scored one, 100%. Hallelujah. Okay? You can find that God is like 100% today. Why? Because what went wrong was not our fault. For us, we did our best, isn't it? Glory be to God. Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, God is good, amen? God is what? Yes, at one time I wanted to tell Juliana to do the song list for last Sunday. But I realized that even if we did that, first of all, I wasn't sure whether she, she can remember all the songs. But I was like, even if you do that, the sound will still be the what? The same. All right? The sound will still be the, the same bad sound. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. <laughs> Act like you are in church, amen? Are you sad? Or are you surprised that I'm saying these things? All right? Yeah, these things have to be said, amen? That is, that is why there are so many stupid churches, eh? which are just social gatherings, eh? all right? Nothing is happening for the Lord there. They don't care about the quality of the... And it, it is just a social gathering, eh? okay? A social club, okay? Social what? Social club. <laughs> you know, eh? Yeah, because they don't take these things seriously. And I think, Bobby, they don't know that... Worship is a serious matter. They don't know. Okay? They what? They don't know. And uh, probably the people in the church who know and should help them just shut up and let things what? Go like that. Amen? But, okay, it will not happen. Okay? You guys, you should worship. Uh, not worship team. Eh? Okay. The worship team, you should pray God to give me a trip for two months, eh? okay? And I go for two months for a holiday, you know? So that's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people, you know, eh? can do all the rubbish they want to do, and, you know, eh? yeah. But we need to take this thing serious, amen? We are here for God eh? and for him alone. We are here for what? For God and for him alone. Okay? Almost all the entire worship team knows that. Hallelujah. Amen? Yeah. One good thing about Esther is that she knows the number of years we have left. So now, someone like her who cannot take these things, what? As a joking matter. All right? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen? Hallelujah. We need to, to do the best we can for the Lord. Amen. Because we are not our own. We belong to him. We belong to what? We belong to him. Glory be to God. You all look very sad. Eh? And some of you are just pretending. Eh? You're pretending. Eh? But you, you didn't even see what was wrong. Eh? All right. Because you're very kind, eh? you even can't tell eh? whether when <laughs> something is real or not. So you're wondering what I'm talking about. But you have to appear like, yeah, you, you're so click. Eh? That we're on the same page. <laughs> yeah, all right? If you're in that state, eh? just know that, man, you're doing very badly. Eh? And you should style up. Eh? Hallelujah. Just know you're doing it very, if you cannot tell. <laughs> when worship is hopeless, eh? just know, man, eh? you need what? You need to spend more time with the Lord, as in personal, private time with the Lord, okay? Sincerely worshiping him. Eh? That's when, you know, this is why people can't tell when things are hopeless, because they spend most of their time in stupidity, eh? Okay? Those who have cars, when you enter their cars, it is just 
stupid radio stage, you know, just they so they cannot tell when something is wrong because they're used to rubbish. Okay? Hallelujah. That's what happened, you know, eh? so you can wonder, but, but Pastor, what was the problem? You know? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are not our own. Eh? All right? So we are supposed to, to, to sincerely serve the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's what we're going to talk about. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 <laughs> to 20. Verse 19 to what? Yeah. It was good to see you laughing and smiling because the other chapter has what? Has closed. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 16, from verse 19 it says, Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God? Chapter 6, isn't it? Huh? Chapter 16, First Corinthians, chapter 6. Yeah, chapter 6, <laughs> verse 19. <laughs> Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? You are not what? You are not what? You are not your own. All. Hmm? Man, this is a deep, this has to, you know, eh? this revelation eh, should dawn on Christians eh? to, to actually realize that they are not their own. They are not what? They are not what? <laughs> now, you know, eh? people know this verse, eh? but they actually don't know it. Do you know what it means not to be your own? I think it is kids who know. But when you grow up, we kind of, eh, we lose that concept, eh, that understanding. Eh? Kids know that they are not their own. Eh? All right? But yeah, the people who should actually know eh, is what? Is Christians. Eh? We are not our own. It even doesn't, anyway, yeah, we are not our what? Our own. Hallelujah. Hmm? We are not what? <laughs> Please, eh, act like what? <laughs> Stop pretending that what? That, yeah, the worship was bad. Yeah. Okay? You are not what? Eh, you are not your own. All right? Yes. We belong to who? To Jesus. Now, also, I've just thought about this. Also, wives are not their own. Glory. <laughs> wives are not their what? Please <laughs> join me in this. Wives are not their what? Their own. Hallelujah. Okay? The young ladies in this place were not married. Okay? The quicker you learn this, eh? okay? is it the quicker or the sooner? Whatever. You know, eh? <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, it will help you a lot. Eh? It will do what? It will help you a lot. Eh? You see, it is these simple things which are actually the most important. It is not 10 months of marriage or counseling eh, that will ensure that your marriage will be stable and you to be happy. Hmm? You know, eh? just because you have a job, eh? Okay, <laughs> and you don't need a man to take care of it. Does not mean that you you are your own. <laughs> Glory be to God. Just because you have three degrees, and the man you get, okay, or the one God is going to give you has a diploma 
or he has nothing. He stopped in senior six. Nathan Kokola business, you, you know. <laughs> right? Does not mean that uh, you don't belong to him. Okay? Glory be to God. Say amen. <laughs> I'm telling you, these, these are the things. Eh? Okay? I have a friend who, and uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's great eh? once in a while to meet with someone or to get to learn that, hey, I have someone with whom we, we think the same on, on a very important issue. Okay? But I won't tell you that issue. But, okay? Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. Glory be to God. <laughs> okay? Cut see me. You're not your own. Amen? Hallelujah. Here are your wishes that Sylvia was here. You're like, Kale, I told her to come to church today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Cove sins. Okay? As you pray for a good man, eh? okay? Before God sends him, and then you mess him up, eh? you mess God up and the man up, eh? is that you just learn this very simple one. You are not your own. Eh? Hallelujah. You're not your what? You're not your own. Okay? And when you leave your father's house, you no longer belong to your father. Glory be to God. You belong to another man. Amen? amen. Say amen. amen. Hmm? <laughs> Glory. Anyway, yeah, so we are not what? Our own. Well, because you were bought at a price. Okay, Christians don't belong to themselves. They belong to God. Okay, and rightfully so, because they were bought. Okay, we were what? We are, we were bought. Amen? First Peter chapter 1 verse 18 says that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers, but, okay, but with the precious blood of Christ. You are not your own, okay, you are bought. What was the currency? The precious blood of Christ. Hallelujah. Now, if you're not your own, eh, you shouldn't live like you are your own. All right? Whatever you do hmm, should be what's your owner. What's your owner? What's your master? Okay? Wants you to do. Glory be to God. And just that simple concept, just that simple thing, eh, okay? By the way, if Christians eh, just lived, you know, with just that simple, con even if they didn't know how many verses, eh, just this one thing. Man, eh, most people's lives eh, would be sorted. I'm telling you, you know, just this, this simple thing. Hmm? We just imagine now like you're, I don't know if you have a houseboy or a house girl. Eh? Do you know, eh? if, you know, eh? they just live by just doing what you tell them. They know they're not their own. So they cannot go for, for Christmas unless you allow them to. Do you understand? Eh? So if they just, when they just live like that, they find themselves, they get a smile from the boss, they get a bonus, the place where to stay is assured. You understand, eh? Assured. They cannot sleep, you know, uh, uh, whatever, on the veranda. Because they are, you know, eh? They are, 
Anyway, they're doing their master's will. You know, all, a lot of the financial problems people have, eh, it, is, it is just these things, by, by the way. Very simple, this one thing. Hallelujah. Hmm? You know, eh? God hasn't told you to what? To start what? Yeah, whatever, looking for land, build, you know, eh? The new world, no laws, man, you know, I'm 27, what? Eh? I must, you know, eh? Katie, now, you know, eh? Your master hasn't told you that now, you know, eh? All right? Then now you start putting financial pressure for nothing on yourself. Because, man, the guys that I went to school, on our group, their guy has finished his first house. Do you know, you are at peace, eh? Without a plot of land. Peaceful, peaceful. Because 600K you get from work, enough. It was enough. Then you began now, what? Then all of a sudden, man, you know what, cutting it, have to get a, and, and you know, eh? If you could, if you had only inquired from your master, is it time to get a plot of land? Do you understand? Eh? Hmm? Okay. Then he said, no, no, it's not yet time. Hmm? Then you're like, okay. Now you continue enjoying your, your 600,000. All right? Before you go to a loan shark. <laughs> okay. A loan shark, you know. <laughs> Then now your six hundred K you are getting every month becomes two hundred. Because the loan shark has to get three hundred every month. Four hundred. Now do you see how you've made yourself what? Miserable? Eh? And now what are you gonna do? You're going to start stealing. That is, you know, a Christian now, they uh, before you know it, they're on that road of what? Stealing, thieves. Yet God had blessed you according to heaven. The angels were in heaven looking down and saying, wow, a blessed man. 600,000 blessed. They just seeing the blessing of God. And for you thought you were not blessed. And some of you, yes, you know, you're looking you're like 600,000. Do you know what 600,000 is? <laughs> but God has blessed. And according to heaven, eh? He has blessed you, and you're blessed. All right? Then you get to hear that, man, there's a certain place where lunch is at 100,000. Eh? And then you think, those guys are more blessed than you. So you start devising who means to what? To find a way of what? Of also eating lunch. You know, then you, you get yourself into trouble for nothing. Hallelujah. You are not your own. Eh? By the way, if you could just live, you know, eh? okay? You see, most of the, well, not most, but a good number of the problems in marriages, eh? uh, not a good any, yes, a good number, not all of them, are because, you know, some people are operating like they are not their own. Okay? Just imagine if you have a, 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 a boss, eh? okay? No, you are the boss, okay? And then you have an employee, and the employee is acting like what? Like she's a boss. Now, just that alone, trouble. Trouble. Just, you know, eh? someone trying to change the what? The roles, eh? You understand? And now that's exactly some of the problems in marriages. All right? You know, <laughs> eh? people are eh? attempting calls. <laughs> okay, attempting calls. You, you tell me of a country where there was an attempted coup and it was still peaceful eh? at, that, at that moment. You can't do that, eh? Hallelujah. 
Glory be to God. I tempted what? <laughs> you just mess yourself up. Hmm? All right? That's why you hear of these uh, stories of uh, uh, men, eh? some men, eh? some bad men, eh? okay, who, you know, eh? who now go for house girls, what, you know, eh? okay, some, what, some, like the guy is a CEO, then he goes like for the, uh, in a, some at the, someone at the workplace of the lowest rank, eh? It's because some, uh, yeah, the man is finding someone who's putting him in his place. You understand? Eh? Something he's not getting at home. And now I'm not saying they should do it. Eh? Okay, but their wives helped them. Eh? You understand? Eh? I know the things sound bad, but it's the truth, eh? you know. Eh? All right? And I'm, uh, yeah, you know. Eh? Men shouldn't cheat on their wives. It is sin. And it will, if they are born again, they will end up in hell. Eh? Okay? However, uh, their wives shouldn't help them eh, to sin. Do you understand? Eh? All right? Glory be to God. Okay? So, hallelujah. By the way, I came here to tell you, you are not your own. <laughs> you belong to Jesus. You are bought at a price, okay? His precious blood, all right? That's what I came to tell you, eh? All right? So if you, uh, you know, eh? if there are things that messed you up, I didn't come to tell you that. Eh? I came to tell you this. Hallelujah. Okay? Hallelujah. Now, when we get saved, eh? when we accept Jesus, okay, we, we actually uh, confess or we accept his lordship. His ownership over our lives. All right? That's what we actually do. As it is written in Romans chapter 10, verse 9. Okay? Romans chapter 10, verse 9 says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, okay, that Lord is not the Lord of God. It is the Lord of Master. If you confess with your mouth, the master, hmm? the mastership, okay, the lordship of Jesus, that Jesus is your master, that Jesus is your owner, okay, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. So we all got saved like that, okay? We told Jesus, oh God, that, you know, Jesus, you know, I accept him as my savior. He died for you to remove your sins. And we also confessed. That is our Lord. Hallelujah. And when we did that, thereafter, we were supposed to grow, okay, in that understanding. Do you understand? We were supposed to grow in that understanding of lordship. Okay? But unfortunately, not many Christians grow in that element. They just grow in expecting to get things from him. Hmm? Thereafter, we are just what? You know, we're asking you for things, 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 things. Eh? All right? But we never grow in that, you know, eh? in our understanding that is our Lord and that we should there, therefore obey Him. Hallelujah. Okay? That shouldn't be the case with you people with us people. Glory be to God. Okay? The Lord Jesus. Okay? Otherwise, okay, you know, you are bound to receive a dream when Jesus is telling you, like he did in Luke chapter 6, verse 46, that, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do the things which I say? Hallelujah. Amen? You guys, I'm telling you the truth. Eh? Some of the problems, eh? some of the things which are not right in your life eh? can be sorted eh? with just, by the way, many things. They can be sorted with just one thing. 
and not even prayer. Not prayer, and this, some of these things, it's not the devil. Hallelujah. It's not what? It's not the devil, man. Hmm? The devil is somewhere in Kalangala, somewhere. <laughs> he doesn't know your address. <laughs> he even doesn't know what's happening with you. He doesn't know that you exist. Hmm? And things are being blamed on him. Okay? I remember years ago, I saw a cartoon. Eh? Was it a cartoon or something? You know, the devil was seated Bambi somewhere, you know, in a corner. And he was like, man, everything is being blamed on me. <laughs> and by the way, I think for the first time, he was saying the truth. <laughs> I'm telling you, some things, it's not the devil. It's not what? It's not the devil, you guys. It is just some stupid people, Christians, okay, who are trying to what? Who are trying to, uh, uh, what did they say, to, anyway, to, who are attempting a coup. They're trying to, to take over the lordship of Jesus. Eh? They want to turn Jesus into a servant, eh? And for them, they were, hey, those things of what? Some chick who told God, you know, who told the Lord, she was single, eh? and she wanted to marry and get kids, and then she told the Lord <laughs> that if you don't give me a husband eh, like this year, okay, next year, you're going to hear news. No, so you see, with such things, now you're telling your boss that. Hmm? Yeah, you know, that shouldn't be with us, people. Amen? Glory be to God. In all that we do, we should do what, Juliana? We should honor him. Okay, and we don't honor him by lip service. Eh? We honor him by actually doing what he wants us to do. Glory be to God. Okay, hallelujah. Let's take David, okay, King David or David as an example. In 1 Samuel chapter 13, from verse 13, okay, uh, before verse 13, we see uh, Saul, Saul, the first king of Israel, has messed himself up, okay? And God sends prophet Samuel to him, okay? And verse 13 says, And Samuel said to Saul, You have done foolishly. Okay, so remember, he had he told him, okay, they had gone to war, Okay, and uh, God had told Saul that destroy everything. He had commanded him, eh? okay, destroy everything, eh? okay, but Saul didn't. So God tells Samuel, God tell him that you have done foolishly. You have not kept the commandment of the Lord your God. You have not done what? Kept the commandment, kept the instruction of the Lord your God. You haven't done what your master told you to do. Okay? And this teaches us eh, that if we don't do what the Lord tells us to do, the truth of the matter is, according to the Bible, we are acting foolishly. Say amen. amen. <laughs> These are not my words. Eh? Hallelujah. They are in your Bibles. Hallelujah. We are acting foolishly. Okay, then he says, you have not kept the commandment, the instruction of the Lord your God, which he commanded you. For now, the Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever. But now, your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought for himself a man after his own heart. All right, the Lord has done what? Sought for himself a man after his own heart. Okay, 
That means, okay, Saul didn't obey the commandments of God, the instruction of God. So God is getting someone who will obey his instructions. Okay, primarily, that's what it means by a man after God's own heart. Hallelujah. Okay, if you spend all your time in prayer, reading the Bible, worshiping, and all those things are good. They are great. But you, are, you actually don't do what God tells you when you are in prayer. When you, are, you are not someone after God's own heart. Okay? Your sister and brothers will see you all the time praying, all the time praying. They're like, wow, our sister, you know, she's a, a woman after God's own heart. God is like these ones. Eh? And just pray that God doesn't give your sisters and brothers a dream. Gaba gambo, yo, yo, wapi. Hmm? Eh? Nabi wa believer. I'm joking. Hallelujah. So God, you know, Saul is thrown out. Okay? Not for some, like, you know, not because he was a, a homosexual. He became a homosexual. No, 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 no. You know, eh? he just, you know, eh? decided to do his own things instead of what his master had told him. The guy didn't do what in our day and age we call a big sin. Like what David did. David took someone's wife. You know, and then he killed the man. Okay? Saul was a nice guy. He didn't do those things. He wasn't a big sinner. Okay? In quotes. But God is like, you did not do what I told you to do. And according to me, it was a major issue. So for that reason, I'm getting someone. And I'll call it Yange. Hmm? Glory be to God. And I'll call it And I'll call it There's a saying like that, um, in a song, whatever. Okay? So that's how David, okay, is identified. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 13. Still talking about David, using him as our example. Okay? So, the person God was going to get after his own heart eh, was David. All right? Just to let you know. All right? So, Acts chapter 13, verse 21 says, okay? Uh, uh, Luke, who wrote this, uh, Acts of the Apostle says, that and afterward, when Israel asked for a king, remember? They didn't have a king at first, and they we want a king, we want a king. And God, so God gave them Saul, the son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, for 40 years. And when he had removed him, why, had he, why was he removed? Now you know. Okay, when he had removed him, he raised up for them David as king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. And what does that mean? Who will do all my will? Glory be to God. So I'm telling you, if you want to call yourself a woman after God's own heart, okay, first and foremost, you must be someone who does the will of God. What God tells you, what your Lord tells you to do. Hallelujah. Hmm? Amen? Hallelujah. In all that we do eh, at our workplaces, in church, wherever, okay? When you're in a boda boda, you know, when you're in a taxi, okay? <laughs> all right? All right? If you are someone after God's own heart, you do His will. Amen? And I'm telling you the truth. Eh? This one simple thing can solve eh, 90% of all your problems hmm? without having to miss food. I'm telling you, without having to miss food, 
God created food for you to enjoy. Hmm? And sometimes he doesn't delight when he sees you, what? Fasting and going hungry while you eh? You know, eh? Eh? He says that if you could just do this one thing, eh? Hmm? Guy Mugambe, Oli Sore, eh? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm? Glory be to God. Just simple stuff. Hmm? Hallelujah. Hmm? Right now I'm 44 years old. I've been saved since 1998. I got born again in 1998. Second year university. I wish I'd gotten saved in P6. I wish. When I got saved in second year, when I saw that man, this life was so good. Eh? I remember the guy who had preached to me in senior one. The guy, man, the whole of sports time, the guy was on my case. I didn't go for sports. Guy, man, Mose, Bwango, get saved. What? Guy, na you, Nem gamba, yai, will, na ne me la ko. Now, university, when I got saved, eh, I look back, man. I was like, those, how many years? Like seven, eight wasted years. But by this time, now, that guy, we went with him to med school. Eh? So by this time, the guy had backslidden. So now I went to him. I was like, you're the one who, don't you remember in senior one? Then the guy said, ah, you must say, also you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but she guy was confused. Okay, because now, so the guy on campus, he wasn't born again. Then, I don't know what happened to him. After I know, I think, did he even do internship? Yeah. I, I, you know, we, after we finished the five years, we heard that the guy has gone, what? To Mukono, theological, it's called what? E -e -e, to do with theology. <laughs> the guy is not even born again, but from med school, sure, Mukono. Either to get a degree or, de or a diploma. For what? I don't know. Very ill. Uh, but the last year, I think he finally got saved again. Hallelujah. Okay? So he raised up for them David as king. To whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do all my will. Glory be to God. Amen. May all of us here eh, have that CV. Okay. Have that CV. Okay. For me, I don't know whether I'm weird, I'm a fake guy. Mm -hmm. I always think in terms of those heavenly CVs. Glory be to God. God, you have a CV in heaven. Eh? Amen. These both things on earth are just fake, man. Eh? All right? But it's good to have the CVs on earth. God wants you to have a CV, eh? a good CV, you know. Eh? Okay, so that you are excellent, whatever, you know. Eh? Eh, but more importantly, are those eternal CVs. Hallelujah. Okay? Have a CV as a woman after God's own heart who does what the Lord tells her to do. A man after God's own heart. Amen? Gabuaba, our project, something to do. Eh? Something God wants to do. Okay? And the Bible says, you know, the eyes of the Lord run to and fro. Looking for what? <laughs> okay, God is, is looking for people to, to use. Eh? Okay, when there's something to do, God is like, you know, eh? yeah, what about Bruce in Bukoto? Or your guy, I'm calling that, you know, eh? hallelujah, amen. Since the elections uh, ended and uh, 71, all right, and it was of God. Uh, yeah, you know, and according to me, I did my part 
in my small way. You know, I did my part in letting people know that Bobby Wine will never be the will of God for you know. Eh? I did my. I wrote things. I said them. I was going around when I meet people. Show you get my phone. Show them the snakes of Bobby. You know. Eh? I did my bit. Eh? And uh, yeah. So after that, okay. Rather, since then, I've been asking God, what? Because I'm like now, there's 2026. 20, I've been asking God now, what do you want me to do for you? Even before 2026 20, comes. I'm asking God, Katie, you know, eh? what is the next, you know? Because, anyway, you, you understand, eh? <laughs> All right? I'm asking God for now my role, eh? Okay, leading to 20, 26. And I'm not doing it for my own, but more especially for God, but also for all of, for the nation. Eh? You have to get someone on the throne, Kuntebe. Eh? Someone who is God's will. Hallelujah. God's choice. And that shouldn't be taken lightly. That shouldn't be taken what? Lightly. Glory be to God. And I'm asking God eh, for my next assignment. Glory be to God. Yeah, right now, heaven knows what old guy, you know. Eh? Amen. <laughs> I like those things. Eh? I mean, God's good books. Hmm? Amen. Now, when you begin on a project, on something, you begin to do something, and then you realize it, and then God who comes to you and says, man, I'm not in those things. Leave it alone very quickly. Leave it. Don't you, what, your ego, what? For me, God told me, what? No, he told me. And when you in your heart, you know, Tiakugamba, and he has told you, I didn't tell you that, leave it alone, but you're like, man, how will people know, you know, eh? that I've been wrong on this? Leave it alone. Just be humble. Okay? And David was like that. David was like how? <laughs> he was like that. First Samuel, First Corinthians, First Chronicles, chapter 28, from verse 2, it says that. Uh, it says, okay, huh? what is it? First Chronicles 28. Yes, but I ended with this, didn't I? Yeah. And it says that then David rose to his feet and said, Hear me, my brethren and my people. I had it in my heart to build a house of rest for the ark of the covenant of the Lord and for the footstool of our God and made preparations to build it. He made what? Preparations. God, yeah, that has a project. <laughs> All right? But God said to me, you shall not build a house for my name, okay, because you have been a man of war and have shed blood. So he has begun on something and he sincerely believes it's God. Hmm? And God said, no, 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 not you, amen? Okay, verse six, verse six of that same, uh, of that same First Chronicles 28, verse six says, now he said to me, so David said that God told to me, rather he said to me, it is your son Solomon who shall build my house. All right? Okay? You understand? And when David got to know that, hmm? there's someone who said that if you're, on the, you're, if you're walking in, a, in the wrong direction, okay, it will never become the right direction, however far you go. You understand? Eh? However far you go, but you still, you understand? You're supposed to go to, what is this side? Bukoto? No. Nigeria? Nadia? Huh? Bukoto. You understand? So you begin to go to Bukoto, but you're supposed to go to Nigeria. You can deceive yourself, but God knows. I have, I have walked a lot. He's, he's like, okay, okay. That's how I. You say, go, no, 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 no. <laughs> Nigeria. So I, you find, you say, God, I've even sweated. I'm tired. As in just, 
accept this. God said, no. You know, what you need to do, you have to do what? Turn back. Okay? Which reminds me of some guy I met years ago. I knew this gentleman uh, while, when I was a child. Eh? Now, years ago, like in 2010, 2010, 2011, I met him in uh, Chihuahua. So he told, then he told me he's born again. Then he told me how he prays for what places he walks, eh? places praying for, for them, eh? whatever, whichever town he passes as he's walking, he prays for it. I'm like, wow, that's good. Then he told me that he has to walk and really feel pain eh? because that's how God will accept what he's doing. I'm telling you that's what the guy, what? He, he told me. See, I have to want to feel pain. Eh? That means that before he starts to feel pain, he knows what? He's like, that is not what? He hasn't yet begun. Pray. So I told the guy, guy, guy. <laughs> where did you get those things? Man, we what? We disagreed. You know, eh? And I think at that time, he was on his way. Akirida. And in those days, Akira, eh? Was like we were going to ginger, eh? Chira, eh? So guy na nga mangende yo yo no eh? So I think now I used to go bullying those those things. The guy say what? I guy was walking like this, you know, eh? <laughs> I'm telling you, oh my guys are uh, weird, eh? Okay. Since then I've met him twice. But every time we meet, eh, you, you can see that the guy wants to, uh, to duck and yeah? <laughs> we take off. The last time I met him was on the election day. I was in the queue. Eh? Then I saw him. Hey, you know, you could say guy wanted to, uh, to duck because he knew where we were going. Okay? Hallelujah. Okay, so, eh? okay, so he got who? So he told him, no, no, it's not you. It is Solomon, your son. Okay? Let's quickly read 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 1 to 5. It says that now it came to pass when the king was dwelling in his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies all around, that the king said to Nathan the prophet, See, now I dwell in the house of Cedar, but the ark of God dwells inside tent curtains. Okay? That was when now those, you know, the whole thing of what he's going to build a house for God. Eh? Okay? Then the prophet told him, okay, go, do all that is in your heart, for the Lord is with you. Now, you should know the rest of the story, okay? And it says that in verse 4, that, but it happened that night that the word of the Lord came to Nathan saying, go tell my servant David. Thus says the Lord, would you build a house for me to dwell in? Okay? To cut a long story short, Nathan, the prophet, had got it wrong. You know? All right? He had given what? Wrong <laughs> counsel eh? to the king. Okay? Then God came to Nathan, told him, no, no, no. You know, you gave my servant poison. <laughs> I'm joking, eh? but like, no, 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 that wasn't right. Eh? That wasn't me. Okay? Go and tell him not to do it. So you can see there were two servants of God. They had all made a mistake, but they were humble enough to what? To turn back. Nathan also humbled himself. Prophet Nathan. Just imagine a prophet who tells you a thing today and is humble enough to call you and praise. Eh? But yeah, uh, <laughs> I would be so glad to hear that the, the, the prophet like that who tells you Chile Chenagambi, it's We miss it. <laughs> but there are some prophets who will see you go get Nakutomela, but the guy can't assure that man, 
echo i missed it but bambi nefandide okay nefandide go toward him no and he went back and told david that man i was wrong okay and david also was humble enough to kill the project hallelujah and it is also remarkable that god who called david my servant my servant david all right <laughs> I remember my depot. My servant, okay? My servant who? Hey. And it's amazing, eh? That what? David or a depot, you know? Okay? Glory be to God. Okay? I'll never forget uh, a few, like a month before LAT opened, okay? I decided to get messages, David or a depot's. Messages. I'm telling you this story because it is this David thing that has what has reminded me. And the guy is also called David Oedepo. So I got his messages that were talking about supernatural church growth. Okay? Because I was going to begin a church and you have to know, you have to learn how to do this thing. I didn't know. I was from med school. I didn't, I hadn't gone to theology, to Mukono. <laughs> All right? So, and so I, you know, I, I, that night I, I slept at around like 2 a.m. because I was listening to these messages, eh? part one, part two, eh? all right? You know, listening to those things. Now, in the morning, okay, Sunday morning, a guy, a friend of mine comes, knocks at the door, and hands me a book. Hmm? Hands me a book. And he tells me that last night I had a dream. And in a dream, I was getting this book, okay, entitled 30 Years of Ministry by David Oedepo. Okay, he was getting that book and giving it to me. You understand? Now it was remarkable, eh? So I knew God was speaking to me, okay? So anyway, I got that book, I read it. Now, to be honest, eh, I don't remember anything in that book. But I remember what I learned from it. Okay? The only thing I learned from that book is do only what God tells you to do. I knew God was telling me the church you're going to start. Only do what God tells you to do. Hallelujah. Okay? And for those of you who are here, you know, at the start, Juliana, you are there in a, at what? Uh, Bugorobi? No? You're there for the first service. Imagine what a worship leader she was there and got to deal with too. Gatao is a mkama. All right? So we're there, you know, we started it, eh? and we didn't, we start, when we began, we didn't do everything right, eh? okay? Like you've had the story, we realized like two weeks later that we were not supposed to be in Bugolovi. The starting was of God, but we started in the wrong place. And I think four weeks later or three weeks later, we came here. God showed us in a dream, you know, that we're supposed to be at Nobview Hotel. Okay? So we, we realized we are wrong eh, on that, for, in, in that area of, of the venue, the place, and we quickly, those things you delay to make, you know, to make the turn, you are going to mess yourself up badly. Because you're like, I want to, so you're like, man, how will I be a boy? Already I have the 20 people. Now, if I tell them that we are wrong, guys will say, Kachono guy, you go to go there. Because two weeks already you're telling us that you had backfired on that. You know, so now that is pride. Eh? And pride leads to destruction. So we quickly, man, eh, woof, came here. 
Glory be to God. We acknowledge our sin. Not really sin, but our whatever it's called. Hallelujah. Okay, and since then now it is six years or something, we have tried to do only what God tells us to do. Hallelujah. That's why we are here. We are still here. Glory be to God. Okay? Mark's brother used to be with us in those years. Then he ran away. I think he was surprised last Sunday when he came. And he said, <laughs> But he's like, Okay? Hallelujah. Hmm? Which takes me to a dream I had on Saturday morning. All right? So Saturday morning, I woke up, you know, in the night to pray. You know, eh? To pray. So I prayed. I prayed for some time. Then I'm like, sometimes, the, you know, the best whatever to, to get a dream. You pray for a long time, eh? Okay, then you go back to sleep. I used to do this thing years ago. <laughs> and man, eh? And so, I'm like, you know, I think I went, to, I went back to bed like at and like 6.30. So, you know, eh? Now, in a, so I'm talking about Saturday morning, yesterday morning, and then I had a dream. Wonderful dream, eh? Now, in this dream, I, I, I met or I was with... Uh, Apostle Serada and <laughs> and uh, what is this guy's name? Chazze. Pastor Chazze. You know Pastor Chazze? Okay. Pastor Chazze, more money. Some of you right now don't like him. <laughs> because because of what? Oh, you don't know? Okay, it's okay. Any? That's a pastor who, are, who, what? who was telling Christians to vote with common sense. And he, in, in, he told them to vote Chagulani. Okay? Yeah. But he's a pastor, amen? There's no way in the scripture that you cease to be a man of God if you tell guys to vote the wrong one. <laughs> and so they were together. And uh, yeah, so then I told them that I go to a church called, hmm? now in the church, it, it, it wasn't called Last Adam Tabernacle. And that didn't mean that we're going to change the name of the church. <laughs> okay. The church was called the One Thing Church. Some of you haven't gotten it. The church was called, and so I told them that I go to a church called the One Thing Church. And what is the One Thing? Okay, we are here. I've been saying it over and over, and some of you are tired of it. You think that I don't know other things, eh? okay? But we are here to do only one thing: eh? to please the Lord. This is where I can't stand it when I see what? We're hopeless, you know. Because, eh? you know, we're here to please the Lord. That's our one thing. We are here to only do what he tells us to do. And that's how we please him. You understand? Eh? Not doing our own things to make a name for ourselves. Also, you know. Eh? Okay. So I told them that I go to a church called the one thing. Church. Glory be to God. Now, for that to, to be said in a dream, eh, it means that is how we are recognized in heaven. That is our CV in heaven. Glory be to God. Amen? Okay? That is your CV in heaven, the church you go to. Okay? Has that CV in heaven? Okay? Tewali abamani. <laughs> However, heaven eh, is like that is our church. Because it does only what they are told to do. It exists only to please the Lord. Glory be to God. 
Amen. Amen. The one thing, church. Hallelujah. That is the city we have in heaven. Glory be to God. Amen. You should be glad to know that. Eh? Hallelujah. The one thing, church. Glory be to God. I mean, then, uh, then, yeah, then, then I told them that, uh, that uh, so I told them I go to a church called the One Thing Church. And then I say that, and after, I, I'm going to build a church, okay, which shall become the largest, okay, in, so I was going to tell them, the number of years, eh? but I was a bit hesitant to tell them, eh? all right, <laughs> the number of years in which it, it will become the largest in the city, all right, yes, I was hesitant, then I told them, I told them two figures, all right, because I was hesitant, Mbagambe six over seven, you know, eh? hey, glory be to God, then I remembered, I think it was two years ago, I had a dream, and in this dream, I was telling, I was with Sarah Dye, okay, and, and I was, we talked about some things, and yes, and I was like, should, no, he told me that your church is going to grow very big. You remember that dream? Yes, you know, and uh, you know, he was saying, no, that's not the dream uh, uh, which got us to invite him. That was a, the, the, anyway, there's another dream later, okay? And he was, uh, he told me that your, your, your church is going to grow very big, okay? Then, in the dream, I was like, should I tell this guy that there's actually dreams that have said we are going to become the largest. So for him, he's talking about growing very big, okay? But I was like, should I tell this guy that actually it's more than that, all right? So in the dream, I was uh, hesitant. Now, so you can see now that was captured a bit somehow in the dream I had two days ago, all right? And in fact, when I met him at that time, you know, I told him that I had this dream, eh? okay? No, he prayed for me, okay? Then he's like, yeah, God, may his church grow So when he finishes to pray, I told him that, by the way, I had a dream when you were telling me exactly that. And in the dream, I was hesitant to tell you the number of years it's going to take to actually not just grow big, but to become the largest. So, so you can see these things were, were captured in this dream. Glory be to God. All right? But the most important thing was what your church is called in heaven. Hallelujah. The one thing church. Glory be to God. Now, how, why wouldn't God pay rent for the one thing, church? Hallelujah. There's some of you who think, yeah, rather, who sit here, you no, know, how does, how do these guys pay rent? <laughs> hmm? Ronnie, I think, also asks, man, for six years, okay? But they also have a good CV with Ronnie, okay? I was told uh, years ago, that he confided in someone, that man, these guys, these guys have never t t told me those things of to Jakukusasura next week, to where mu eh? To give us some time. Eh? Then that he said that there are some other large churches where he also does sound. Which man? Eh? Ababanja. <laughs> Glory be to God. Glory be to God, yes or no. Okay. Okay. Now, this one has never. I think you guys even wonder, but like a pastor and there's a we are somewhere in America, like I 
yakola uh, uh, friends with abazong abam sam kash but they, they are not there eh? amen they are not what there but god they cannot allow a church which you call the one thing church to just get off the scene like that because that's what he needs from every human that's what he needs from every ministry that's what he needs from every church to have only one goal, eh? and that goal is to please him. And how do we please him? By doing, by first and foremost, doing only what he tells us to do. Because we are not our own. Glory be to God. Amen? Now, this shouldn't just stop. Uh, with us as a church, okay, as a body, but it should be the same in our individual lives. Glory be to God, okay? Then, Andrew, you get a dream one time when God is referring to your uh, family as the one thing marriage, the one thing family. Glory be to God. Amen. That family loves me. Hallelujah. Amen. Mkwanzi. Amen. Amen to what? Mkwanzi is clicking. Hallelujah. Even her dad is clicking. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. As we end, lastly, so we have used the example of David. So as we end, I'm going to just read two verses, okay? Uh, we're going to look at the ultimate example eh, of Jesus, who is actually the son of who? Of David. Jesus in, chapter, in John chapter 4, verse 34 said, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Not just to do a bit of it, half-half, hmm? you know, just do rubbish, you don't, you know, there's no excellence to what you're doing. You just want, you understand, God, you just said no. Okay, I came to do the will of my master the will of my father who sent me, and to finish it. Glory be to God. That should be our what? Our motivation. Okay? Esther, are you listening to me? Hallelujah. Okay? The worship team has done a great job eh? all this time. Hallelujah. Okay? Praise, you've done a great job, amen? Hallelujah. Hmm? Julian has helped me, I'm sure, to, eh, to, to help eh, everyone eh, to do the best they can for the Lord. All right? John chapter 17, which is the last verse. Before Jesus went to the cross, he said, I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. Glory be to God. Amen. He said, I have glorified you on the earth. How? Not by singing, not by reading the Bible. Amen. <laughs> we should sing to the Lord. We should read the Bible. But if we sing to the Lord and we read the Bible and we can quote scriptures eh, and people call us deep, eh, but we don't do the will of God. We are not glorifying him. Hallelujah. Amen. Glorifying the Lord is simple. Just get to know what he tells you to do and do it. Hallelujah. Okay. Jesus said, I came to do the work of him who sent me and to finish it. Okay. And before he left, he said, I have finished that work. I have glorified the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 
May we continue to be the church that glorifies the Lord. Amen? We thank the worship team eh, for their partly responsible, okay, for us having that CV of being called the one thing church. Glory be to God. Give them a big hand clap. Eh? Amen? They sacrifice a lot. Do you know what it means to wake up at, I, I, I don't know, what time and you just come here and, and you do stuff and you're not being paid after having worked Monday to Friday hallelujah Andrews who newly weighed man amen for him to leave that bed you know, and come what amen hallelujah amen the comfort of his home to you know eh? glory be to God hallelujah amen People like Mark, give Mark a big hand clap. Mark for mine. Amen. Now you're going to give a bigger hand clap to his wife, Rachel. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you're going to clap for yourself. You are partly the reason why heaven calls us the one thing church. Glory be to God. I mean, now what better thing to achieve on earth as a church than that? Hallelujah. Now if we just remain the way we are, like this, and we still have that CV, man, eh? so that's why <laughs> I think people begin with ministries when they really don't know, eh? what this thing is all about. It is not about fame. It's not about numbers. It's not about the how much you collect. Okay? There is a, there's a pastor who one time wrote on Facebook, you know, eh? when there was this thing of uh, regulation of churches, what the bill, eh? I can say those guys, no, why they have to, you know? Then he wrote and said that, you know, every Sunday we collect this amount of, of money. But I know the guy, he, he, he just wanted to show it, eh, to tell the world that man, eh, he has dying, you understand? Eh? And when you think about it, to me, that man is not a lot. You understand? Eh? But now, how do you write a thing like that? And it wasn't why even 10, it went to like 9 miles. It wasn't a lot of money. Nina Chwandika. These guys want to regulate us, what for us, we are what? We collect. You know, <laughs> okay? That guy will was once Okaro's friend. Hallelujah. I'll just say that to let you know who I'm talking about. Amen? The one thing, church. Hallelujah. And we should remain that way, people. Glory be to God. <laughs> we should remain what? That way. Hallelujah. Amen? Judith has been here from uh, them days, eh? we are going off track. You're like, you come to me. You're like, Pastor, we are sleeping. Please, they come. You understand? That's why there's some people who I wouldn't want them to leave this church so soon. Because those are the guys who can know, like who know the past, who can say, ah, uh, ah, uh, you know, you understand? It's good new people come when there's this group that can be able to also control them, say, ah, ah, you know, you understand, eh? you, you have to have those old people, not necessarily in age, but in a long, is in having been in a place, eh? and they know the history, they know the culture, they know what is acceptable, what is not acceptable, they know what God has said previously. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We need those people. Hallelujah. The Nkwanzis, the Edens, the Akuchus. Hallelujah. In all I do, I honor. Last Adam Tabernacle, Christ for the Nations.